So guys, I have pressed this out. This is the crumbs. This is the cake for the front. This is the back. And also this is the cake for the back. So I will proceed to cut it out. So after cutting this out, I will use it to cut my fabric and we go to the next one. So guys, I have cut out my pattern. You can see how beautiful it's looking already. So this is the back and this is the front. And the front, we are going to add zipper in the front. We are adding our zipper in the front and not in the back. So while cutting out on our fabric, you are going to cut this two piece. So you are going to cut the front pattern two piece, okay? And you are also going to cut this, the side front two piece. Then the cape for the front, you are going to cut it four piece because it's going to be on the two sides of the front. I don't know if you understand that. You are going to cut it four piece. The four piece will serve as the lining and the main material like you are going to use the main material to turn it okay and this is the back the back since we are not adding the zipper allowance in the back you are going to cut this on fold okay you are going to cut one piece but it will be on fold then you are going to cut this two piece and you are also going to cut this four piece because it's, it's going to be on both sides of the back and we are going also going to use it to turn it out i don't know if you understand this if you don't understand it you always ask your question okay so you are also going to cut this in for the lining another two piece you are also going to cut this for the lining on fold one piece and you are also going to cut this on the lining two piece and you are also going to cut this on the lining two piece and so these are the materials we will be needing for this project this is a um, soft wording. We are going to be using it to pad our bust area. Okay. Then, this is my lining. You need your ST to make your material firm. And you also need this, your material. So this is the material I'll be working with. So like I told you, I will put the main material to two piece on each of these pattern. Then, the lining i'm going to cut two two piece on each of this pattern the way i explained to you guys okay and for this one for the capes i'm going to cut it for four piece the main material okay i'm going to use the main material to cut the capes for four piece so i will do that i will cut the main material okay the next thing is that for the interfacing you are cutting the interfacing this is s tape okay nylon estate that's what they call it you are going to put cut the interfacing for both the lining and both the main material so i will do that and i'll come back to show you guys next thing to do okay So guys you can see that i have cut my material okay this is the back the front two two piece each and i've cut the cape this is four piece i don't need to use lining to turn it i will use the main material to turn it okay and you can see we are going to add zipper allowance at the front so this is the allowance for the zipper allowance so you go ahead and slit here open okay Go ahead and slit here open so we are going to add the zip for the front and i've cut the back you can see the back is on fold do the same thing for your own so i'll go ahead and use this same pattern to cut my lining okay two two piece each so after cutting my lining i will also use this pattern to cut my interfacing my edge there okay
so guys i have used my pattern to cut out this as i explained to you guys you see the reason why you have to cut this to two piece both lining and both material you can see the outcome so i've cut the lining and i've set it how it should be so the lining and the material you can see how it's looking so go ahead and do the same thing for your own so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to use these materials to cut my interfacing my stay okay i'm going to cut stay for each of them each of the lining and each of the material so this will help my fabric to be firm okay So guys, this is the back bodies, both the lining and both the main material. So I have cut the interfacing for all of them. So you notice that your interfacing, there are some sides that are rough. That is the place that you are going to face on the wrong side of your fabric. Okay, just do the same thing I do. You face the wrong, the rough side of this extra. You can see this is the burning side. You make sure that it is facing the wrong side of your material so i will go ahead and iron this i will do the same thing for the front for the lining and the main material then i will be back to show you guys what next so guys i am done ironing the stay on both the lining and on the main bodies okay so you should do the same thing on your own so this is the back i'm done ironing the stay on both the lining and on the main bodies okay and this is my cape i only ironed stay on the one i'm going to use for the main material and the one i'm going to use to turn it i didn't iron stay on it so i also did the same thing for the back you can see that so for my front i i ironed in a soft wording okay so if you want to know how to cut your soft wording you should check on the description box below you can see a tutorial on how I cut my wording okay so check it out so that you understand how to cut your soft wording properly for your off shoulder bustier okay so I'll go ahead and pin this down okay I'll go ahead and pin this down I'll pin the materials first to the material and I'll also pin the lining so I'll pin it up and I'll show you guys how it looks. So guys, I have pinned this. Okay. You can see how I pinned the front. Center front to the side front. I also did the same thing for the lining. Okay. Center front to side front. So you know why the... The center front is open because the zip is going to be in the center front so look at how i pinned it and this is how i'm going to sew it when i get to my sewing machine this is the back i've also pinned the back okay i'm going to sew it this way i pinned it this is the lining of the back i've also pinned it then i'm going to sew it this way i pinned it so for the caps these are the caps okay i have also pinned the cape i'm going to sew from here so this upper part i will not sew it because i will be attaching it to the upper part of my bodies and this place i'm not going to sew it because it will be going into the armhole so i'll do the same thing for the rest then the front i'm also going to sew the part which will be sewing and the part which will be entering into our 
for this i'm not going to sew it so i will do that and i'll come back to show you guys so guys i've gone ahead to join my fabric together like i showed you earlier i've joined everything together both the lining so you join your lining separately okay like you are seeing this is the back the main material and also this is the front this is the back also the mat um, the lining for the back you can see i i joined everything separately okay so and also this is my capes so you are going to also turn the places that you are not going to join to your body so i'll go ahead and notch on this point then i will turn it out so i have turned my cape out and this is how beautiful it's looking so i'll go ahead and iron down these capes i'll also iron down my bodies okay i'll do the same thing for everyone every of them so go ahead and do the same for yours so guys i have ironed down my cape this is how beautiful it's looking and i've also ironed the same lines of the entire material i'm working with okay i've ironed the same lines so i hope you've done the same for yours okay i'll be showing you guys how to attach the cape we are starting with the front okay so this is the cape i'm putting in the front this is just attach it like this from the zipper allowance so it's not going to go into the zipper allowance just attach it like so okay from the zipper allowance down to the armhole so i'll also attach the other one so you pin it down from the zipper allowance down to the armhole okay you pin it down and i'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew it to hold it together with my bodies so i'll also do the same thing for the back so you have to locate the center back so you have to locate the center back and you are going to place your cape like this okay i hope you understand what i'm doing here so this is how the cape is going to sit on my back then i'll go to my sewing machine and run a stitch to hold it together then i will be back to show you guys i've gone to my sewing machine and i've sewn in the cape okay so i've joined my cape to my bodies so i've also done the same thing for the back so all of them is now one so the next thing i'm going to do is to join my fabric side by side so you use the allowance you put to join it for me i put one inch seam allowance so i'm going to pin it up and i'll go to my sewing machine i will join it side by side okay i'll join the main material i will use the sewing allowance i added i will join it then i will do the same thing for the lining too okay i'll go to my sewing machine and i will join it with the same allowance i added so i'll come back to show you guys what so guys i have joined the front and back bodies together and this is how beautiful it's looking and i've also did the same for my lining so you should go ahead and do the same for your own okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to insert my zip okay so after inserting my zip then i will come back to show you guys how you are going to use the lining to turn your zip okay this will be very beautiful guys are you feeling it so to fix your zip all you have to do is to come to the hem part you should come up by one inch okay you should come up by one inch from the hem part so that we can be able to turn it down that's the essence of coming up so my zip is going to start one inch above my hemline so you should do the same for your own all right so guys you can see i've gone ahead to join my zip 
so you make sure that you are using the zip that can open up okay so the next thing we are going to do is to turn it with our lining so we are turning the whole thing so guys we are turning the whole thing so you are going to be learning how you are going to turn your zipper is this not beautiful so what you are going to do is to is to pin your line okay the right side of your lining facing the right side of your main body so we are going to pin it like i'm doing so what we want to do basically is that we want to turn the upper area then we are also turning the lower the hem the hem line and we are also going to be turning the zipper area so i will pin it down so guys you'll be pinning down also the zipper area so when you are going to sew you make sure that you are sewing on top of the zipper and not on top of the, the zipper seat it should be on top of the zipper at least 0 0.125 away from the zipper seat so we want to turn the zipper area so that is it so guys i'm done pinning it down so i'll go to my sewing machine i will sew the upper part sew the zipper area making sure that the sewing is on top of the zipper area i will sew the hem line I will also sew the zipper area at the other side, making sure that the sewing is on top of the zipper, not up, not on top of the zipper seat. Then I will also sew the upper part. Um, I will also sew the upper part here, and the armhole. I'm not going to sew it because that is where we are going to be turning it out from. All right. So guys, I'm done sewing it like I showed you guys. I didn't sew the armhole because of course this is going to have a sleeve and this is where I'm going to turn it out. So I've sewn the areas I showed you guys earlier on. I've sewn everything closed except the armhole. So this zip, you are going to cut up the excess of this zip. So you don't need it anymore. So do the same thing for your own. So I'm going to turn it out from here. But before then, I'm going to notch it round so that my fabric can last when I turn it. Okay, I'm going to notch it round. So I've notched it, then I'll turn it out from the ample like so. so. I'm going to turn everything out from the ample. So you can see how the zipper area is covered. You can see how beautiful this is looking, guys. Oh my god, I'm feeling it. <laughs> so guys, this is how beautiful it's looking. So every seam line is closed. So beautiful. Are you feeling it? For me, I'm feeling it already. So you can see our oh, cape, everything is closed. Then I will. The next thing you are going to do is to go and give it a good press. So this is how beautiful it's looking. So I will give it a good press, and we are done with this tutorial. So for the sleeve, it's going to have an exaggerated elastic sleeve so there is a tutorial i made on how to fix an exaggerated sleeve you should go and watch it it's on the description box below so you should go and watch the tutorial so guys if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so it will really mean a lot to me all right guys thank you very much i will see you in the next one bye